In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the blur effect inside iMovie for a variety of video editing scenarios. And we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Brian White, and welcome back to Video Zeus. If you want to learn how to spend less time making more videos, start by clicking that subscribe button now. All right, so today I'm going to show you how to blur a face in iMovie. I'm going to share with you my exact process for doing so. Now, it can be tedious, but it is rather easy, so stick with me to the end of the video to see it all come together. Now, it's important to note there is no way to create the blur effect used for blurring faces inside iMovie itself. That's right, I said there's no way to do it inside iMovie. But don't worry, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to accomplish this. So let's dive in. Looking down in our timeline, place your playhead over the first frame of the video clip you want to blur. Next, press Shift-Command-4 on your keyboard to take a snapshot of your screen and draw a square over the face in your preview monitor like this. Let go and the snapshot will be saved to your desktop. Now, we will use a photo editing application called Canva, which is free to use. I've placed the link to Canva in the description below. Once inside Canva, navigate to create a new design. Then click on create custom and type in the dimensions 100 by 100, which creates a custom canvas. Next, you'll need to upload your screen grab. So click over here on upload and once uploaded, simply drag the photo into your canvas area and transform to fit the screen. Next, click on this filter button here. Drop down the advanced settings and tweak the blur effect settings to make the shot blurry. Okay then, click up here to download your file. Select PNG file type and download. Now this file will be saved in your downloads folder. Let's go back into iMovie and import the graphic file. Then drag the graphic down to your timeline over the first frame of your video clip. And there you can see our blurred graphic on the screen. Now click over on the overlay tool then click over here on drop down and select picture in picture. Then highlight this area and type in zero into the transition duration. Now you can see our graphic on top of our video layer. Next, click over here on the cropping tool and select fit to keep the graphic static as it defaults to a zoom when it's first imported. Now here is where it can get tedious. The video clip you're looking to blur a face in is likely moving in the shot. So, not only do we need to apply the blur effect, we need to apply tracking so the blur follows the movement in your shot, keeping your subject blurred. To do this, we need to keyframe the action. So with your graphic layer selected, position the graphic so it sits on top of the face you're blurring. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning of your clip when you're positioning the blur. You can hold down shift to freeform size your blur to fit perfectly over the face. Now, you'll see this small icon displayed. This is the keyframing tool. Click this icon to lay down your first keyframe. Then, using the arrow keys on your keyboard, advance the clip by pressing the right arrow key and reposition your blur. Then, advance the arrow key one more frame and reposition. Each time you advance the clip and reposition the blur, it will automatically apply a keyframe for you. You'll repeat this process for the entire clip you're blurring. And the reason we're keyframing each frame is so the blur tracks perfectly with the movement in your video. Now, you could advance your clip in chunks and reposition the blur accordingly, but when you're done, the end result will look quite choppy. It's best to keyframe each frame of the video so the blur stays consistent throughout. So I'll fast forward my keyframing for this clip so we can see the end result. Now, let's play the clip. As you can see, the blur effect tracks the motion throughout your shot. Perfect. Tedious, but highly effective for the right occasion. You can repeat this process to blur out faces, license plates, or anything else in the world. If you haven't already downloaded my Before You Shoot guide, please follow the link in the show notes below. The guide will prove as a useful resource for each and every one of your video creations. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a like. And if you want to watch more videos just like this one, then hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss the release of our new videos. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, where we help you spend less time making more videos.